When it comes to heating and cooling a house, we found the most common problems often stem from one cause, leaky air ducts. Not only will leaks in your home's air duct system affect indoor air quality and temperature balance from room to room, but leaky ducts are the number one cause of home energy waste. The summertime, our house was hot, and in the wintertime, our house was cold. We had dust all the time, and our utility bills were sky high. Well, we always had an imbalance of temperatures in, in the rooms. Uh, we, we found that we had trouble uh, heating and cooling the rooms that were furthest away from the, the furnace itself. The initial barrier was uh, getting them to open up and tell me about their problems, the airflow in their house, um, you know, what kind of issues they have uh, in hot, cold spots of their home. Once I was able to turn that around and get them to open that up and make that a little easier for me, um, it was just real easy to, you know, you're going to buy a car with flat tires or you're going to buy a high efficiency air conditioner with leaky ductwork. Several things happen when ducts leak. First, the air goes out of the ducts, which means you're wasting energy. Uh, second, the air that goes out of the ducts now goes off and out of the ducts in places where you don't want it. Hot air in a uh, cold attic can hit cold sheathing at the roof and create uh, wetting, condensation, mold problems. So we have to worry about that. And then also when you have holes in ducts, uh, let's say particularly in the return side and you're sucking in uh, the air from a space like an attic or a crawl space, you're bringing in humidity, dust, dirt, and cold or hot temperatures. So ducts are just really important to get right. And also when they're sealed properly, the entire HVAC system works better as intended. I tried using all the uh, conventional methods to correct the problem. I tried to use uh, duct tape, caulking, uh, especially on the, all the duct work that I could see in the basement. But all of this was ineffective because the air leak itself was actually coming through the walls and not the uh, duct work. First, a technician will install foam plugs into all air duct openings. An access hole is cut into the supply or return plenum and a temporary collar is attached. The AeroSeal injection machine is then connected to the duct system using a long, flexible plastic tube. A patented computer-controlled injection machine heats up adhesive particles suspended in a liquid. As the particles are heated, they dry up and become suspended in air. A fan blows these small, dry adhesive particles into the temporarily blocked duct system. The particles move through the ducts, and as they approach a small hole, the air is forced into a small space as it tries to escape. The particles stick to the side of the hole, and as more and more particles repeat the same action, the hole is filled. We pretty much eliminate the, com the competition because they don't have the solutions I do. And these are solutions that we see more and more consumers want. As soon as the job was completed, the technician handed us a report showing us how much of the leakage was repaired. Um, the cool part was we didn't have to guess. It was right there in black and white in a computer printout. Uh, since then, since we've aerosealed our home, we've seen dramatic decreases in our utility bills. Uh, the job has already paid for itself, so now the money that we're saving is just purely going into our pockets. The problem that we had in the winter time was that our upstairs bedrooms were very cold at night. Before we went to bed, we would shut the vents on the main floor, hoping that the air would be forced upstairs. We also had heated blankets on our beds, but it really wasn't a great solution to our problem because our downstairs was then cold in the morning. My house, when I bought it, I knew was a 1980 vintage home and therefore had extremely leaky ducts. I didn't realize they were leaky as they were. Um, uh, one of the only systems I thought would work for me was an aerosol-based uh, injection system. My duct layout's very complicated and not accessible, so an aerosol injection system was a very good fit for me. And when we did it, we reduced the leakage from like over 600 CFM down to about 80. So that's like an 80% reduction in leakage. So can you imagine how much waste I had in this particular house? But I knew that going in, but I was willing to buy this house knowing that there was a technology that could help me fix such a significant problem. We first considered sealing our ductwork to improve our indoor air quality because dust was a problem and our kids were always fighting allergies. Uh, but then when the aerosol representative came out and showed us uh, the holes in our ductwork and how much air we were losing through there, um, we thought, you know, gosh, we're just really throwing money away. I mean, it would be like having a car uh, with a hole in the gas tank and driving it around and just losing gas. I knew we were losing money and we had to do something about it. We were amazed by how fast AeroSeal was installed in our home. There was no mess, there was no cleanup after the crews came in. It was a very quick and easy process. We noticed a big improvement in the airflow 
the balance of the temperature. Uh, we could even see it, uh, the airflow on the uh, window treatment. Uh, the temperature was more balanced, especially in those rooms that were furthest away from the furnace. We were, we were really very pleased with, uh, with it. I mean, it, it's a quite a noticeable difference. Uh, I think anybody with the forced air furnace could benefit by this rather than uh, disrupting their house by tearing out all their drywall. We're sealing ducts and we're putting high efficiency and we're getting results and customers raving about how much lower their utility bills are. So, you know, I, I just kind of laugh and chuckle when people are trying to apply product and not looking at a total solution for fixing the HVAC system.